All right, so we've talked a bit about this as we've gone through, but um, as you've noticed, we've been suggesting that Markdown is a good option instead of just typing code into the console or typing a script. Uh, we suggest that you clean your environment, that you don't save it after you're done with your workspace when it gives you that pop-up at the end, um, or you can always press that broom symbol um, to clean your environment. That's to make sure that your script or your R markdown is actually doing what you think it is and that you didn't type something in the console that's um, causing everything to work. Uh, so we, we also suggest that you try knitting your R markdown regularly. So try the entire document and see, see if it's working. And I'll review that in just a bit. Um, and the whole point of this is that you have the opportunity to put narrative around your code to describe to your future self and to others what exactly you're doing in your code. And as you're learning, this can be super helpful because you can explain to yourself what these functions are doing and why. Um, and it, it's just a really great practice to start for the future. So again, when you're looking at RStudio, on the left corner of uh, your editor, you'll see this knit button. It's the left top of your um, or studio, you'll see this little yarn ball and a knit button. If you press that and you don't press the downward arrow, it will automatically, if you've made an RMD document, um, which again, you can find in the intro slides how to do that, uh, it will knit to HTML. You though, however, if you click the little downward arrow button, have the option to knit to some other types, file types, such as PDF or Word. However, HTML is generally um, the most useful because you can see interactive elements. Um, so once you have interactive plots or something like that, uh, you would need H HTML to see them. A little word about code chunks. I know some of you have been interested in this. When you set up a code chunk, you have these three back ticks, a curly bracket, the word R to indicate that you're using R code, and a close bracket. However, you can add some other aspects. You can add a name for the chunk. That's a little more advanced and not something you necessarily need to do. And you can also add these messages. There's three that are important. There's echo, eval, and message. Echo determines whether it's true or false. Um, if it's true, it determines if your code should be shown in the report that is knitted. If it's false, it says that it should not be shown. Eval is uh, specifying if your code should be evaluated. So eval is short for evaluated. What I mean by that is whether it should be run or not. So you could actually just have so, a code chunk where you're showing that I want to assign x to, to 2 or 2 to x, but I'm not actually doing it. Um, so you could have echo equals false and eval equals false, and that means it'd be completely hidden from the, the knitted document and it won't run, or you can have by default, both of them will be true. So if you just want to see it and you don't, and you want to run it, you don't need to add these. Message is about like if you have, for example, when you're running importing data, it's going to give you a lot of information. If you want that turned off, you can say message equals false. Um, a tiny word about syntax, because this is important for your project, but it's not, we will not be grading you about this, but just in case you wanted to know, if you have a hashtag and a space and some word, it's gonna make that word very large. If you have two, it'll be slightly smaller. If you want a bold text, you can use asterisks, two asterisks around the word. If you want to italicize, you just use one. And then to make a, a piece of code um, or, and reference that in the narrative, so not in a code chunk, you can put back ticks around it um, and that'll make it look different and stand out. So this is what it looks like after the knit. You can see that this is bigger text, this is slightly smaller, this is bold, this is italicized, and here the code piece looks different. Yes? Okay. Um, and if you want to know more, you can go to inside of our studio to file help cheat sheets, our markdown cheat sheets. And just a reminder that these slides are on our website, so you can um, find this later. So when you're doing your final project, 
which just like all the other homework assignments is due on June 25th. Um, you will turn it into Course Plus and you will give us an R Markdown file and the knitted HTML file. So you'll press that button. Um, there are guidelines and an example on our website for the final project. But it's basically that we want you to guide yourself through your own data analysis, finding your own data. Um, and one other last announcement is that the functions lecture is uh, already recorded and uh, will be uh, sent to you so that you can do that if you wish, but it's a more advanced um, concept. So uh, we won't be covering it together, but you will have the recording um, if you're interested in that. All right, that's everything. If you have any questions, please let us know.